Now the Court of Appeal has upheld the nullification of Homer Bay Governor Cyprian Awiti's win in last year's general election. Justices Philip Waki, Fatuma Sichale and Otieno Odek found Awiti's appeal against High Court ruling as lacking merit and sent him back to the ballot. And as Kevin Ogutu reports, the governor now becomes the third governor whose election has been overturned. It was a moment of apprehension as supporters of incumbent Governor Cyprian Awiti and his challenger former Kasipul Kabondo member of parliament Oyugi Magwanga waited for the moment of reckoning. The governor did not show up in court and left the matter in the hands of seasoned lawyers led by senior counsel James Orengo, Otiende Amolo and Anthony Olwoch. <laughs> Justice Fatuma Sichale breaking down the grounds for the appeal. Contestations around the deputy registrar scrutiny and recall reports leads us to examine the emerging jurisprudence on the property value and binding nature of judicial scrutiny and recall reports. And then came the long-awaited hour when Justice Charlie dropped the bombshell. The final orders of this court are as follows. One, subject to the order of course, the appeal and cross appeal by the appellant and the first respondents <coughs> respectively, respectively have no merit and are hereby dismissed. According to Magwanga, he had won the election fair and square, but the election officials meddled with the results. Let us actually go back to the people for the people of Homer Bay to confirm the actual position as at the time when the people of Homer Bay went for elections. Awiti now joins Wajia Governor Mohamed Abdi and Machakos Governor Alfred Mutua, whose elections have been nullified by the courts. <laughs> Meanwhile, the members of parliament for Shinyalu, Ikolomani and Luanda got a reprieve after appeals challenging their victories in the last elections were quashed by the same appeal court. Up to now, it has not been clear whether Homa Bay Governor Cyprian Awiti will be contesting the judgment delivered today at the appeal court. But just in case he thinks of doing that, then he has seven days to do so. Kevin Ogutu for KTA News in Kisumu. Business people in Mutindo area and other parts of the city are counting losses following demolition of their working premises by county Ascaris backed by police. The same measures were meted out on structures in Amana area in Madhari, suspected to be drug dens. Mark Namaswa reports on that demolition exercise. This bulldozer decided to pay business people in Mutindwa area, Nairobi, an early morning visit. The result were losses by business people who watched helplessly as county Askaris and policemen oversaw the destruction of their business premises. <laughs> The bulldozer then extended its destructive mission to be center area in Umoja Estate, ending in a futile attempt to bring down two storied buildings. Kama hii ni barabara, let it remain a road reserve. We want our children to walk safely along the roads. We want cyclists to have a place to cycle. And we want everything to be free. Watu wegu wanauliza, kwani, hida serekai tulichagua. Tulichagua ya kuwagaisha mwanaishi wa kawaida, ama ni serekai tulichagua ya kuwedera inchi bere. When pressed for answers, a county official stated that the demolition was part of the city's attempt to rid itself of illegal structures. <laughs> Meanwhile, security personnel conducted a raid against suspected drug dealers at Amana area in Madhari. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
Mbuo. No arrests were made during the raid. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.